Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Genus Academy. So friends, in our previous video, we have learned about the X tile. This particular X tile is like it is a rooftop tile which changes its color with respect to the temperature and that will give a cooling effect to your house. So in this particular X tile, the biggest game changer is nothing but the thermochromatic coating which is there on the top of this X tile which changes color with respect to the change in temperature suppose there is an increase in the temperature more than 25 degrees celsius then it will turn to white and that reflects back all the uv rays that reflects back to the light and giving a cooling effect to your home whenever the temperature reaches to less than 20 degrees celsius then it turns into the black it will started absorbing the color it will started absorbing the radiation and it will give a it will increase the inside room temperature so that was the that was the basic purpose of this x tile and over here the biggest game changer is nothing but the thermochromatic paint so friends over here in this particular video we are going to learn about the thermochromatic paint how does it works and the potential applications of the thermochromatic paint so friends if you are new over here on my educational channel genius academy kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon also friends, if you want me to make another video on your selected topic, you can comment below. So without wasting any time, let's begin with the today's topic of thermochromatic paint. So friends, whenever we talk about the thermochromatic paint, over here the word thermo. So thermo is means like something which is, which is related to the heat or else which is related to the temperature change and the chromatic now this particular chromatic it represents and it is relevant to the liquid crystals which we are using in this type of the paint this particular liquid crystals will be having a unique property that at a certain temperature it changes its color so over here the property of the liquid crystal it can form in any different hue it can form into any different shade of color such as the shade of rainbows now this particular liquid crystals it is uh, neither solid nor liquid it is something which is in the between the solid and the liquid now this liquid crystal is having a unique property that it can flow and it can form a like a different different molecules now this particular liquid crystals will be having the different type such as the pneumatic crystals, smectic crystals and the cholesteric crystals. The liquid crystals which are used over here in the thermochromatic paint, this is of the cholesteric uh, type of the liquid crystals. Now this particular cholesteric liquid crystals, these are nothing but the molecules, molecules which are randomly placed in different different layers. Over your friends, you can see this is the cholesteric liquid crystals representation. The distance between the each consecutive place we can call it as a pitch. So, over your friends, this cholesteric uh, uh, liquid crystals which are used in thermochromatic paints and it shows the effect that is known as the thermochromism. That is nothing but the a particular material undergoes the particular material changes its color changes its u that is nothing but the shades of color with respect to the temperature changes with increase or decrease in a temperature the its changes its its color also change so this particular effect can be termed as a thermochromism now this particular effect it is first observed in 1970s a mood ring this particular mood ring uh, like uh, it is thermochromatically painted and it changes its color with respect to the change in the body temperature so friends this is the reason it is termed as a mood ring so whenever it changes its color it represents the uh, person who is wearing that ring it's uh, like uh, its emotional behavior so that's why it, it is named as a mood ring it is thermochromatically painted. During that particular time in the uh, 1970s or 80s, the beer manufacturers used this kind of the thermochromatic paint into their cans, beer manufacturing, beer cans. 
like they represent their logo as well as some sort of the graphic representation to light up or to change its color so that the customer will attract to that particular manufacturer that is basically a marketing strategy so for that particular marketing strategy they have used this type of the thermochromatic paints so friends how does this thermochromatic paints uh, actually work like how does the changes its color so friends in our previous video that is in the case of the electromagnetic spectrum of the visible light we have seen the different different colors we have seen the red is having the higher wavelength that is around 700 nanometers whereas the blue is having the 400 nanometers now this particular nanometers represents the distance and over your friends this particular liquid crystals we have seen the pitch whenever like an incident ray or else a sunlight is exposing on that particular liquid crystal this particular liquid crystals reflects back a certain light a certain wavelength so it re it uh, reflects back a certain wavelength that depends upon the distance between the two consecutive uh, layers of the liquid crystals so whenever as this distance gets changes a different wavelength gets formed and we will see the different shade of the light which is coming out from that thermochromatic paint so over here it is very much easy the distance between the two consecutive layers changes and it forms the different wavelength different wavelength of lights gets reflected back and you will see and you will observe a different uh, shade of the light so whenever the temperature change will occur the internal molecules will get disturbed the liquid crystals will disturb and just because of that disturbance the layers the two consecutive layers will changes so friends let me give you an example over here like how does this wavelength of the light and the distance it is uh, uh, like uh, it is related to each other so over your friends let's say it is a cross sectional area of the tin the in the both the cases in first case hot case in in the first case over your friends you can see the upper one that is when the incident light the light gets uh, passed when the light gets uh, penetrate into that particular object light will not penetrate light will not go into the deeper side it gets reflected back through a certain distance over here the distance between the layer is less so that's why the blue light is appearing and the wavelength of the blue light is around 400 nanometers and the distance will be around 400 nanometers in the second case between these two layers will increase and you will get a red light over here the distance between the two different layers will be around 700 nanometers and you will get a red light which is having the wavelength of 700 nanometers so friends this is how this thermochromatic paints will work and this is how you will get the different shades of colors so friends this particular thermochromatic paints used in the different different applications different different creative applications such as the magic mug mood ring also in the x tiles it is used in the chemical indicators labels pigments paints thermo thermometers different thermochromatic clothings so friends over here i remember something like if you have heard about the uh, uv activated t-shirt so whenever uh, like at the indoors you will see a different normal t-shirt but when you exposed that particular t-shirt to the sunlight or as a uv light a superman logo will appear so this particular t-shirt is like thermochromatically painted over here the superman logo which is there but it is hidden at the normal temperature at a less temperature but when you expose to the higher temperature it will appear in your clothes so this is nothing but the uv activated t-shirt which is which also uses this thermochromatic effect thermochromatic paint drink containers battery indicators and some of the plastic products they can use this thermochromatic paints very easily for the aesthetic looks as well as some sort of the creative applications also friends there are several companies that using this uh, dynamic inks for their eye-catching applications and to attract the different different customers so one example i will give you over here that is the toilet seat so this particular toilet seat where if it is the thermochromatically painted so whenever a person like uses that particular uh, toilet seat 
so just because of the body temperature it changes its color so whenever the next person uh, goes inside the toilet and he'll notice that someone has used a washroom very recently so like you will see there is a change in the color so that's why the people will notice that uh, recently someone has used that particular toilet so that was a uh, like application of this thermochromatic paint like it can be used in the uh, bathroom tiles uh, fittings sanitary applications as well and whenever there is a temp temperature change that needs to get noticed in case of the thermometers we can use easily we can easily use this thermochromatic paints there also but over your friends uh, while using thermochromatic paint this particular performance of the thermochromatic paint can be suffered just because of the long exposure to the uv light also water and certain chemicals and these paints does not interfere with the recycling so that's why it is environmentally friendly also also friends some of the baby bottles which are thermochromatically painted like uh, to make sure this bottle is hot or cold like we can determine from the uh, color itself also some of the interior designer some of the different different wallpapers uh, they having this uh, they use this thermochromatic paint to get a visual wow also friends some of the creators graphic designers use this type of the thermochromatic paint to increase their potential to increase their creativity in graphics and overall i can say this the application of this thermochromatic paint into the artistic and aesthetic appearance is endless so friends that was all about the thermochromatic paint i hope you like my video if you have any queries any doubts please leave a comment and friends please do support my channel and please do support me on patreon.com so i can keep making this educational content for you also friends if you want me to make another video on your selected topic please comment below so thank you so much for watching this educational video please stay tuned with engineers academy